Alright, and now, um, I fixed the backing plate too while I was sitting here piddling around. Um, now that we got the mirror clean, I just took and flipped the mirror over and face down so it's protected. And, uh, started working on that backing plate that, that was kind of hanging there. And all I did really was I took and, uh, just got some, you can see the, the white there, that's actually just Elmer's glue. But I, I took, um, just took a, a butter knife and just kind of slid it under the, between the holder and the mirror and just kind of very carefully just kind of worked that plastic plate kind of back up where it's kind of somewhat secure back in the, 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 the aluminum ring and then I just ran a bead of Elmer's glue around it um, just to, to kind of help hold it. I tried model glue and um, and some stuff like that. I'm gonna try this this Elmer's and see if just just some good old Elmer's glue will hold. Um, it'll dry clear, you know. Of course, you know the white. It'll it'll just dry out clear, so it, it should be okay. I don't. I'm not really overly concerned about that plate not really being attached. The only thing I am kind of a little bit concerned is is it just flopping um, or not not really even really flopping, but just being a gap there um, to let cold air in to the back of the mirror. Um, which it's still there's going to be a gap there anyway um but you know that was kind of the only reason i wanted to just try to fix it and well i got it out of mine as well so um the other thing while waiting on the glue to dry that i wanted to show you was zoom back out here um i did do a um basically i took and i've been getting the secondary mirror um somewhat aligned um and basically what i'm doing is i'm looking through the the focuser sight tube and i'm looking down to the secondary mirror and i'm looking at the shape of the secondary mirror as i'm looking through the tube and you want it to be nice and centered in the focuser um you know it's just kind of a, a series of rings um you know you've got the bottom of the focuser that makes a ring you can see the back of the actual telescope tube behind the secondary mirror and then what you'll see in the the secondary um is a reflection down the tube and you want you want that secondary to be a nice good symmetrical circle um and you want it also be centered in the focuser area um and that's really what you're looking for and basically all you do is just just move your primary kind of back and forth and, and you can turn it a little bit. Um, the nice thing about the LXD75s is the, uh, and I, I think the six inch doesn't have a corrector plate, um, if I remember right. I think the eight and of course the 10 does, but uh, I think the six inch doesn't have a, a, uh, an actual corrector plate. And I, and I could be wrong on that. Um, for those of you that's got the, the six inches. Um, but the nice part about the, the corrector plate is um you don't have a spider to mess with um as you can see that's the corrector and then you know the lenses or the secondary is actually attached to it and it's probably notched um i would imagine i think i looked at it before i think i did see where it was it was notched out in there and uh so the secondary pretty much as long as is you know the mirror the corrector if you take the corrector off um, for cleaning or whatever, as long as you put it back in where the, the secondary is facing the focuser, you're pretty much in pretty good shape. Um, and you can see I got a piece of green construction paper taped to the inside of the, the telescope tube. Um, and I'll show you what that's for here in just a second. And if you look down in the bottom, you can see that, yes, that is a piece of purple construction paper that I've got um, that I cut out and I had to take two pieces and tape them together that I cut out on um, the, the little four uh, holding little tabs there and uh, stuck that down in there and the reason I did that is when you look through the focuser I'm gonna try to see if the camera can get you guys a picture through the, the focuser here Bear with me just a second. There we go. You can kind of see it a little bit. 
but basically what you see and it, it looks a lot better when you look through but you see the the outer ring is the the, the focuser tube and I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit um the outer ring there is the actual focuser tube and then you can see the green which is just the back of the telescope tube um, and then as the secondary as you see the center there the secondary is actually looking down at the base of the the foot the, of the, uh, the telescope tube and that's where the purple comes into play is it just gives you a good um, kind of contrast between the the green and the purple and then um, and really what you're looking for is see how that's a nice perfectly round circle um, there that's what you want um, is that secondary mirror kind of turns uh, side to side or left and right that circle becomes oblong almost kind of egg shape and you're not flat directly looking up the focus or two so the the more the perfect of the circle you get um, the more in plane in other words, the more the flat of that mirror is looking right up the, the tube, it's just more adjacent to look down the focuser tube and down into the bottom. Um, the other thing that you, you want to really look at is the actual distance all the way around. And I actually took a picture um, with my Sony. I took a picture through here, um, and I've got the, the acclimation or the collimation um, little target thing that, that the the guy on astronomy shed has and I downloaded that and I actually took a picture of it and I overlaid that over the picture and I can use the circles and the crosshairs and stuff to uh, to actually make sure that I'm pretty in line and it looks really good um, I'm, I'm close I mean I am really really close I got good good distance all the way around so I'm gonna go with that and uh, and and basically and the I was looking this is the the far point two inch uh, zoom out here so you can see. Let's see if I can just stick it down in the yeah, you kind of see. That's what it looks that's that's a little better on what it looks like, but um but anyway I'm looking through this because that actually gives you a very fine point right in the center of the focuser. Um and as I said that's the that's the far point two inch uh, Cheshire. Um, but you can see the, the reflective tape there. But uh, we're getting ready to get into that here in a minute. But anyway, that's what I'm doing. That's what I that's what I worked on a little bit last night, and uh, and everything. I think I've got my secondary pretty well, um, you know, pretty much in 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 good shape as far as, um, you know, when you when you look down at, you know, the, the secondary. Um, doesn't really tilt this way too much, but this way, you know, you want that as far as the, the focusing tube, you want that as, as parallel when you look down to look to the base of the tube, you want that as flat as you can. And that's what you're looking for is that, that perfect circle on the focuser or the through the focuser tube to the secondary. You want that perfect circle. And then you also want to look at, at the, the movement this way back and forth. Um, to make sure that your your secondary is not too far down and it's not too far back, um, you want that that focus or two, um, basically the, the the dark reflection that you see or the ring, you want to make sure that secondary is nice and centered in that. So uh, so anyway, that's what I worked on last night. I'm I'm pretty good shape there. It really it didn't take hardly any adjustment very much. Um, I did have to move the secondary back. To the corrector plate just a little bit and then i just kind of re-snugged up the the adjusting screws um so now we we're pretty well as far as the secondary goes we're pretty rough um as far as um you know having it actually centered to the focus or two now as soon as this glue dries we'll put the the primary back in the bottom of it and uh and then we'll start actually doing a rough collimation um, which is basically nothing more than um, getting the the secondary flat to the focuser and then we're going to be using the the two inch Cheshire and the laser pointer um, speaking of which I was going to show you all that 
that there is the two inch laser focuser just like all the other reviews um good well steady built you can see that's a that's the old 12 ounce beer there beside it it's a uh, you know good substantial piece um it's heavy um there was a, a little deal on there talking about you know don't uh, mess with the screws just take a little piece of paper off and it's already collimated. It's a nice push button. It's heavy um, It is definitely heavier than most of my eyepieces um, so that's good and uh, and you can See if I can, you can see the laser points nice and um, nice and pinpoint as far as the laser point goes um, so Anyway, we got that, and you've seen the the two inch, the two inch Cheshire uh, that goes along with it. Um, so basically, when you put the Cheshire in, you look through, you'll see this reflective tape. It'll make a ring around the the uh, the triangle center spot that we put on, and then you move the primary or you move the secondary, if I remember right. If you move the secondary to get that um, triangle centered in this ring that is reflected in the primary and then when you put the laser pointer in you uh, move the primary to actually set the um, the the laser pointer in the center spot of the triangle and then you go back and forth back and forth back and forth probably 20,000 times until you just get to the point where your uh, your eyeballs are going crossed and you're starting to drool and really you're probably in, in pretty good shape. Then what we do is we get the old uh, the two inch uh, auto collimator here and uh, we put it in, which I got the cap on it, which all it is is just like the Cheshire, um, but it's actually got a high resolution, I say high resolution, but it's actually got a mirror. Um, and what it does is it actually creates a um, mirror, um, you know, if you've ever standing in your bathroom mirror with another mirror behind you, you know, you see the, the, the reflections go off into um, thousands and thousands of them, but that's what this does. You put this mirror in, and it actually shows you um, the, the if there's any real tilt or anything to the, um, to the secondary and the primary relationship, and you use that to stack the images and when you get done you should have one good um, consistent um, image um, when you look through um, for whatever you've got the scope pointed at and I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do as far as that goes as far as something to to kinda maybe try to target um, you know I, I'm not a hundred percent certain I haven't really got to that point yet so we'll we'll kinda go from there I got a nice picture of the the whirlpool galaxy here um i may try to just point the scope at that and and have that as a reflection just use the center of it and and see but i don't know we'll we'll kind of um we'll get to that as as we uh we proceed on with the collimating of the scope but so far everything's been real good like i said we got the the secondary um we got the secondary pretty much in in tune as far as with the focuser just you know using just the eye um, I did use the the Cheshire and, and stuff just to kind of aid to give me a, a very small spot and I'm looking through um, kind of a line of sight through the through the focuser tube and uh, it looks really good so um, we got our primary center spotted cleaned and uh, of course we're fixing the back end plate which we're waiting on glue to dry now and uh, hopefully that'll be done here shortly and we'll get the the primary mirror put back in the the scope and then we'll start playing around with uh getting this thing collimated um with the the cheshire and the laser pointer and then we'll move into the to the auto collimator and and play with that it's probably going to take four days so um but we'll see how it goes and uh as i get um progressing through i will shoot another video or so and um, try to give you guys an idea of what's going on so until then